truck. Uh, there is a period photo from 1956 showing 14 school wagons with the service techs that came over from Germany to, to train uh, dealership employees. So I decided to recreate the, the photo by buying some uh, lab coats and recruiting nine of my closest friends who were handy in the parking lot and lining them up against the buses so that we could do it again. Awesome. All these years later. Awesome. Right. So it's a 1955 uh, Combi Schul wagon, which is the the mobile service school where they would train VW techs at dealerships. Uh, it was a, a special bus uh, made by Volkswagen. It was only available to VW distributors. Uh, for, it wasn't available to the public. It was. Uh, literally the most expensive Volkswagen in the 1950s. The most expensive? Yeah. Why? Th this, the, because of all the options and everything it came with, this cost twice what a 23 window would cost in 1955. So it, it was uh, optioned out with Safari windows, a full width dashboard, which is un uncommon for Barnders, standard on deluxes, but uh, it, it also has the ambulance fans with the overhead scoop, the, the three-piece ambulance divider. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dove Blue full width dash. He, <laughs> uh, nobody's seen one. And and then it also has the ambulance hatch back here. Normally a barn door engine lid comes up to here, but this is like an ambulance. Wow, look at those furniture. <laughs> and so then it also has oh, a cabinetry in it. These ones back here have service literature, parts lists, repair manuals. This one has sales literature, various pieces. And this one down here is for tools. This is the, the sales brochure for it, which talks about all the options. <laughs> and has the, the nice cutaway drawing. Yeah, they would go around to dealerships and train the service techs. So inside it had a full complement of tools. Wow. Here it has the the tool chest and other tools underneath. It also has an engine, engine stand, and then this removable rack. Oh, this is removable? Okay. Yeah, which it has a transmission, which has a bus axle on one side and a beetle axle on the other side, and then a front axle from a beetle. When I got the bus, it was empty inside, but I was able to locate an original tool chest we built this from the blueprints and the, yeah, and then sourced out the mechanical items, built the, the engine stand. The, the tools themselves are all originals. Wow. So this is the original cabinetry? Yes. Wow. Very cool. And when I got it, it had 
uh, 10 coats of paint on it. And so I'll show over here. We stripped oh, wow. the paint off. This, this semaphore shows the layers that we had to strip through to get to this original paint. The uh, About 80% of this dove blue is original oh, paint. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, when, when it came out of service a couple of years into its life, uh, they sanded off the logos. So the, uh, the bits of it were left, but all the lettering was gone. So we had to, to repaint the logos and, and blend a little bit of the, the dove blue and, uh, and that. And we started this restoration five months ago and it's nearly complete now. Uh, very presentable at this point. Yeah, very nice. so the, how, how did you find out this logo? Uh, the brochure shows what the logo is, but when we stripped it down, the we had uh, we could see w where the logo was on it. it. It was for sale in Hot VW's magazine in 1980 for $1,500, which was an insane price. These are the pictures from 1980. Then it was, <laughs> here's what it looked like five months ago. Okay. Five months ago, wow. Yeah, so then oh, we so stripped it off it and we could see, mm -hmm. they had sanded down, but we could see what the logos were. And on the back, you, you oh, can wow. read across there. They sanded the letters, but we can tell it was Volkswagen. And then in, there were two of them that were imported in 1955. Then in 1956, they imported 14 more of them. So this is what we did this morning to, yeah. Yeah, and I uh, made up some lab coats so that we could get the, the photo this morning. This is a picture of the other one that was imported in 1955. This is the West Coast one. This was the East Coast one. And this is the from the sales brochure for it. And they had them all around the world. This was one in New Zealand. The this this cabinet back here we made from this picture. And. One getting loaded off a boat, and another one. Very nice. Wow. There, there's a, a little bit of fine tuning left to do. Uh, I've been working on it quite a bit, but there's, there's still some things, and I still need to source some tools. I have about 60% of the tools that it came with, but I need to find the rest, and uh, I'll be taking it to a few more shows and then just displaying it and looking at it and having fun with it. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate your support. We also appreciate the support of our sponsors since without our sponsors, our VW community wouldn't be what it is today. So the good folks at Protronics are sponsoring this video. So to show them a little bit of love, we wanted to tell you guys about the distributor here and the coil bundle that they've got going on at their protronicsbrands.com website. So check them out, you guys. Link right here. And also, don't forget to subscribe because without you guys and the support of the folks at Protronics, we couldn't bring this video to you. So thank you again for watching. We look forward to seeing you at the next car show. And if you do see us somewhere, just come up and say hi, all right? We love to meet everybody and we love to support the community. So give a little bit of love. It all goes around. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Thanks again for watching.